We were in um, actually in Monte Carlo. It sounds very grand. We'd never been overseas before. And um, this is a place where everything is perfect. Everything is beautiful. Everything is ridiculously expensive. And um, for us, from, you know, out here in the bush, it all seemed a bit much, except Sue. Sue had always had this desire to go into the casino at Monte Carlo and play the roulette tables and make a fortune. But she only had 10 euros to do it with. So this is called Cote de Jour. On Sunday in Monte Carlo, the sun sheens my arms, pushing droplets along the hairs like milk spider venom, even at half seven. The beautiful people, perfectly perfumed, perfectly dressed to the right, where their indulgent excess rests in five-star comfort. Rubbing shoulders with themselves, cloning about on the Riviera, even their farts are designer. Down along the boulevard, Princess Grace, plebs, interlopers, poets, gawk at the view, overcome by the Cote de Jour and the distance from home. Breasts are released, freed of Nanette Lepore with new Ferrari fanfare, homage paid to Dr Fisher's fantastic fun bags, lauding La Révolution Surgicale, as though it would save the third world, whatever that is. Up at the casino, when the chips are down, small countries are bought and sold. Large ones held for ransom in moments of whimsy. While a dairy farmer's daughter yearns their experience, eyes in her stars with a 10 euro steak. I watch all from breakfast, sipping tea ordered in French. Bonjour, tea s'il vous plaît? Cobbled together in just days said as much to impress me as my hosts. The Mediterranean smiles its seduction as I write these hypocritic oaths.